So this week's recipe is a request and I'm going to make traditional carbonara. I'm actually off to Aubrey Allen in a Leamington Spa now because they've got a wonderful meat counter. They've got um, a cheese delicatessen and they have all types of, I think, dried pasta in there. So I'm going to get the pasta, the pancetta and pecorino or parmesan cheese. Aubrey Allen is um, a brilliant butchers etc. It was opened by an orphan called Aubrey Allen in 1993 in a small um, shop in Coventry and now it's become an award-winning butchers um, that's basically um, by appointment to Her Majesty the Queen so um, high quality meats, cheeses, um, delicatessen etc. So I'm going to go there and get some of the ingredients for the recipe that I'm going to do. already where the hell has that gone so I've got a great march to look forward to it's Mother's Day it's my birthday I've got a bakery course to go to and also I've got um, a butchery course that I'm going to in Aubrey Allen Leamington Spa that I won from last year's um, home cook of the year so yeah great stuff so today I'm going to do traditional carbonara that was a request from somebody um, and we're starting off just with a pan of boiled water with um, round about a teaspoon of salt. All the ingredients here are ready. So we've got spaghetti, um, good olive oil, black pepper, 75 grams of parmesan, plus probably about another five in there um, to, to put on top when I've finished. Um, we've got two eggs, two whole eggs and one egg yolk and um, that's just to make it really rich and creamy and then I've bought this pancetta, obviously smoked pancetta, um, 140 grams. You can use about 100 but I do like it really bacony. Um, all of these I bought from Aubrey Allen's Deli on Friday so already in prep to go. So we put the salt in the oil and water. These spaghetti nests are great Obviously it says on there four persons, absolutely ideal, six to eight minutes. So I'm going to use two nests because this recipe is for two people and it should take six to eight minutes. There's the myth that you need oil for cooking pasta, just salted water. And that's it. And then we are going to brown the pancetta, which is the start of the sauce. So basically, some good olive oil, quite high heat, you want it nice and brown and crispy. And like I say, I'm going to use both of these packs. high heat and contrary to maybe what people think about making carbonara the sauce is just eggs so like I say I've got two eggs and one egg yolk and the reason I've added the egg yolk is to make it nice and rich and basically this is the sauce it's really easy 
that as long as you put your pasta to perfection you, you can't go wrong really so there we go eggs beaten what goes in there is the 75 grams of parmesan stir it together and in there I will add black pepper a good grind obviously it's up to you how much you like I do like quite a bit of pepper and then at the end I'll sprinkle some on top as well and that's your sauce so near the uh, crispy pan pepper when I go down to Borough Market, they do lots of um, different types of smoked meats. So one of the ones that I would buy for this would be um, the smoked pig's cheek, which is absolutely superb. You can get it in a nice big chunk, and then you can cut really big fat chunks instead of like these smaller pieces here. But I haven't been thorough for a while, so I'm using this nice smoked pancetta. Spaghetti, just twist them off, just loosen them up a bit. That's it, we're on a roll. Right, as you can see, the pancetta's nice and crispy and brown now. A little bit of fat in there. If you want to get rid of the fat, um, really easy. Just pop in some kitchen towel. I like to keep a little bit in because it flavours the spaghetti. That's all you need to do. Take it off the heat. The spaghetti has been cooked according to the instructions and obviously you can tell whether it's al dente or not. Take a little piece out. Check. Feels okay. Fine. So then what we need to do is put the pasta into the bacon and we're gonna, just going to have to drain it. Just drain it off. Okay. And we just need to let the pasta cool a little bit. Because if you add the eggs too soon, they will scramble. Obviously you want the sauce hot, but you need to let it cool just a little. With the sauce, you'll see I haven't added any salt at all, and I'm not going to add salt. The pancetta is obviously smoked and it's quite salty. So it's not... It's to taste, but um, you obviously don't have to add salt if you don't want to, I don't. You can hear my son and uh, husband in the background talking about football and clearly having no education, they're bloody idiots together. <laughs> right, so we just want to pour the sauce in and this will make it nice and rich and creamy. And if you think carbonara was made with cream. You're sadly wrong. This is the traditional recipe. You can actually smell the cheese, the bacon. Just mix it all in together. So that will make the sauce and the egg yolks cook. And you can see there's still a little bit of heat coming off it. Where is filming for me? Does it smell good, Claire? It smells amazing. <laughs> it's the only reason I filmed to get some lunch. <laughs> it's true. It's true as well. We've just said we're going to have this with a glass of Prosecco. <laughs> Traditional Italian. Now look at that. That's just perfect. Rich, creamy sauce. Lots of pancetta. And that's one portion. That's going to make my daughter one happy girl.
add some fresh parmesan. Or you can actually use pecorino as well. Black pepper. That's it. Perfect carbonara. Very easy to make. And you would say this is like eating it at an Italian. And I will just tell you if I'm happy with it. And then me and Claire will go and do my shit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As ever, delicious. Really easy to make. Really rich. So me and Chloe are going to go and enjoy our lunch now. If you like it, please subscribe to my channel. Any ideas, then let me know. Um, and until next week, take care. See you soon.